All right, so let's get into creating keyword sets. Now, just like every other area of Lightroom where you can create presets, keyword sets are essentially presets for keyword groups. So what we're going to do is go to this right side right here, and where it says keyword set right now, I have it set to wedding photography, which is actually one of the default keyword sets that it comes with. And if I click here to expand the menu, you see that other keyword sets it comes with is outdoor photography, portrait photography, and wedding photography. And if I click on one of these, basically it just gives me nine different keywords that I can use that are that are common keywords pertaining to this type of photography that I can use to keyword my images. Now the cool thing about keyword sets is not only can we create our own, but you can also use hotkeys to apply these keyword presets to the images. And you do that by holding Alt. And once you press down Alt, you'll automatically see the different numbers pop up for each of these keywords. So if I hit Alt plus one, it's going to apply the fall keyword to this image. If I hit it again, it's going to remove the fall keyword from the image. So let's go through and create our own keyword preset based on the keywords that we've created down here. And we're just going to kind of mimic what we've, uh, the keywords that we've used so far in the tutorial series. All right, so I'm going to do that by clicking on the menu and I'm going to go edit set. It doesn't matter what set I'm editing because we're not going to save it as the same outdoor photography preset. All right, so I'm just going to use the same keywords that we've used so far. Uh, I'm just quickly populate this menu and it's going to auto fill a lot of these because I've already typed all of these in. So I'm going to let it auto fill each one. All right, type in girl, houndstooth, and model shoot, and we're good. Okay, so now I'm going to click right here and I'm going to say save current settings as a new preset. If I click update preset, it's going to update whatever current one is selected, which is this outdoor photography one, which I don't want to do because I don't want to change that to this undefined keyword group. So I'm going to click save current settings as new preset and we'll call it the undefined uh, one back shoot and hit create. Alright, so now I'm going to hit change and automatically it's going to update my keyword options down here so I can hold alt now and I can apply any one of these keywords to these images. So that's another really quick and easy way to uh, create a standardized set of keywords for each catalog. Um, and, and the cool thing about this is it's going to travel along with each catalog. So when I create a new catalog, I'll have this set of keywords available. So let's say if you're a portrait photographer or maybe a, a commercial photographer, you can create keyword sets that apply to your industry and to your area of photography that are going to travel along with each catalog that you can use to categorize and sort your images.